please watch this video in HD hi YouTube uh, the purpose of this screencast is to just uh, visualize the difference between linear scale and a logarithmic scale so we're gonna use uh, MATLAB and its graphing utilities to see visually that how a function behaves in a uh, linear scale or in a logarithmic scale then so why we use a logarithmic scale an example is that if I want to go to Islamabad from my current location, I have to travel 12 kilometers and a lot of curves and turns, uh, etc. So I can plot it uh, on my paper because uh, the, the actual distance is in kilometers and uh, on paper I have just a few centimeters uh, on it. So there is a strategy to squeeze uh, the linear graph so that we can plot it and realize it uh, in some other scale or domain which is logarithmic. Uh, domain or scale for the answers I've just uh, wrote a code small code in MATLAB to realize it so here's my symbolic variable x I'm gonna inline the function and I can just put any function over here for the answer I'm gonna put x to make things uh, easier and uh, then I'm gonna put 100 points in it and then my time and then I'm gonna plot it and here's my logarithmic scale I'm gonna just put uh, the function which I have uh, v which I have inlined over here and I put 100 points in it and I take the 20 log of it and store in log scale uh, then I'm gonna plot it and just see its behavior so let's run the program so here you can see for the answer in linear behavior on the 100 uh, uh, just uh, the graph is hitting 100 and uh, as you can see over here at 100 the graph is at 100 but in our logarithmic scale i have on 100 i am just above 92 and 93 this was a linear scale if i take the square of it or the qubit you're gonna clearly observe that you can see over here the power is just going to 10 raised to the power 5 and in our logarithmic scale uh, i have just uh, i think i haven't hit uh, 300 over here just uh, maybe between 300 and 250 and over here I on 100 I am just uh, 10 raised to the power 5 which is a very very huge uh, uh, term minus 2 into x plus 5 so far the answer is on this one so as you can see it's again going to this huge uh, amount uh, on our y-axis let's change a function for the instance if I use an exponential function and it's just a rising function for the instance it's a growing function exponential and so as you can see over here that uh, is just zero or approximately zero and just approximately near 90 is shoot is up and it's go 10 raised to the power 43 and our logarithmic scale up to 100 we are just on 2000 so there's a far difference between both of the y scales if I use a decaying exponential, so same thing is going to happen that I'm just decaying and just um, starting from 1. For the hair, it's just approaching to 0, but in our logarithmic scale, it's just going to negative 2,100. Yes, and uh, over here, you can we can analyze that at 100, we are at 0 and uh, at uh, this 1. Okay, so here... A linear graph is uh, a bit good tool to approximate a decaying functions. So for this, you have a sinusoidal function, um, and it's a positive. So let's see how it behaves. So here we have a sinusoidal function, and in a, lo a logarithmic scale, I have just this type of behavior. It's also oscillating, but it is going showing too much spikes, a uh, negative spikes uh, near some points, as you can see, 22, maybe 23 here of 44 43 uh, and then over here and then over here and uh, approximately all the spikes are between 0 to negative 20 even though I just use negative sign x I gonna get the same thing if I use uh, 2 into x so let's see what's gonna happen as you can see the shape of this graph and th this one if I change it to 5 so let's see behavior and it's just reach almost negative 200 and uh, if I use 100 and see what's happened, I'm just uh, one negative 150 and you can see the things are getting clearer over here. So uh, I think I'll, I have used almost logarithmic functions, uh, sinusoidal function and exponential function, whether they're decaying or rising, uh, and just seeing their behavior in logarithmic domain. So you can just play with it and see the behavior and analyze the linear versus the logarithmic uh, domain. Thank you.